Hey YouTube, it's Elise, and tonight I'm coming with something totally different. Um, I want to start a mini series on my channel, um, just basically where I chronicle my move to New York. Um, I currently live in the Midwest, and I am moving to New York, hopefully by June 1st. Today is March 7th. So, between now and then, I either need to transfer with my job, secure a new job, find an apartment, and move. Um, I just recently, asked, actually earlier this week, finished my MBA. So, I officially have my master's degree. And I am ready to move to New York. I really want to work in the fashion industry. Um, I've been working in the, that field for a while, but... I've gone as far as I feel like I personally can go in the Midwest, so I need to go somewhere where the opportunity is for me, for my experiences and my education and my passion, which is fashion. Um, my channel actually started off as like a fashion channel where I was doing like thrift hauls and fashion how-tos and stuff like that, and I kind of switched over and have been doing more so beauty, um, and that's Basically because I haven't really been shopping for clothes anyway. Um, since I, I know I'm moving, my move has been in the works for a while. I haven't really been thrifting and shopping and all that because the more stuff I buy, the more stuff I have to either get rid of or I'm going to have to pack up and move. So I'm like, I need to just chill. And I've been trying to stack money too and save because, of course, living in New York is going to be ridiculously more expensive than living in the Midwest. So I haven't really been buying clothes. I have still been irresponsibly buying makeup because I just need to buy something but uh, <laughs> I haven't really been thrifting or shopping for clothes or shoes or anything like that really recently other than like work clothes and stuff so I haven't really been um, making videos about that but after I move I will start to go back in that direction I'll still do my beauty videos and everything but I will get back to what I originally started this channel for which was for fashion um, but back to New York. Um, if any of my followers or anyone who watches this video lives in New York, I would love your feedback on places that I should check out to live. Um, right now, I'm just trying to narrow it down and pick a borough or pick a area somewhere in Jersey to live that's going to be affordable and safe and not rat or roach infested. Um, those are pretty much my only requirements. Oh, and I need a big closet. So... Let me say that again. Um, <laughs> affordable, not rat or roach infested, big closet. That's all I need. Um, oh, and safe. Safe, 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 safe. Um, so if you know of any really good areas that a young girl like myself should check out, that would be awesome. Because trying, I've been to New York several times, but trying to narrow it down over the computer is really difficult and I am going to go back up there within the next couple of weeks um, to visit but when I go my time is just so limited because I'm trying to save all of my vacation time and everything for when I actually make the move so I'm only going to be up there for like two or three days and I can't tour every single borough and look at every single area in that shorter period of time so that's why i'm trying to narrow it down from home so when i do go up there to look it'll be like okay i know i want to stay in brooklyn or i know i want to stay in queens or i know i want to stay in hoboken or wherever so i have it narrowed down and i can just go and look at places in those areas instead of trying to look in the whole i can't like i just can't do that um so and that's that. Any feedback would be um, greatly appreciated. Um, another disclaimer. I know that it's different in New York. I know it costs more to live in New York. I know all the negative things you could possibly tell me about New York. But I'm moving to New York. So if you don't think I should go, or if you um, have anything negative to say, or if you live there and it didn't work out for you, or if whatever... Don't even waste your time typing a comment because I don't need it. I am posting these videos for encouragement and for feedback. Um, yes, I want honesty. And even if being honest means something negative, that's fine as long as you're saying it constructively. 
I don't need you just being like, oh my God, rent is so much in New York. Oh my God. Blah, blah. I'm aware. Like, when people say that to me, it like really just grinds my gears. Like, you know that in Missouri, you can get a house for the same price. You can get a studio apartment in New York. I'm aware. Okay? I know. All right? I know that I'm going to be walking. I know I'm going to be taking public transportation. I know. That right there is probably, well, ending up with a rat and roach infested apartment and learning how to work the public transportation system are probably the only two things I'm afraid of. I'm not afraid of anything else because because I've basically had my own car since I was 17. So I've never, you know, taken public transportation or had to learn it. And I'm directionally challenged, y'all. Like, even driving, I'll be lost. And I'll be, like, trying to GPS stuff on my phone. And I'll be going the wrong way. It'd be, like, turn east on Monroe Street. And I'm, like, which the hell way is east? Like, I'm bad. I'm, like directionally challenged so i know trying to walk down the street and find a subway station and figure out what bus to get on i'm gonna be in connecticut somewhere trying to get from brooklyn to manhattan so i already know that it's gonna be a hot mess and then i'm like deathly afraid of bugs and i know everybody in new york don't have bugs but i just people just be like oh my god in new york it's just blah 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 and whoop 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 and it's roaches and rats in the subway and you're gonna walking down the street and a big rat's gonna come chasing after you and people just it's trying to scare me out of moving and i'm like i'm moving regardless so that's why i don't understand why people waste their time saying stuff to me like that because i've been doing a lot of research this move has been in the works since last summer i think in july while i was in new york i said i'm moving here so since then I have been researching and stacking money every day. It is now March. So I know a lot about what's about to happen. And of course, I'm not going to know how it feels to live there until I live there. And I know it's going to be different. And that's honestly what I want. I want something different. Born and raised in Missouri. I went away to school. but It was in a different city, but it was still in Missouri. So... I um I need a change. You know what I'm saying? I need somewhere that's going to grow my career and I'll be able to work in the field that I'm passionate about. And then it's it's New York. Like oh my god, like have you ever walked down the street in New York? The feeling that you get is just not the feeling I get when I walk down the street here. So yeah. Right now I'm trying to narrow down a place to live. So if you live there or have lived there or know somebody that does live there and you could think of areas that would probably fit my needs, meaning, like I said earlier, safe, not rat or roach infested, a big closet. And I'm not asking for like a specific apartment building. Just what borough should I look into more deeply? Because right now I'm kind of thinking Brooklyn or somewhere in Jersey. Um... Brooklyn is really the only borough that I have really, really researched a lot. Um, is there anywhere else I should be researching? Just let me know because, like I said, I plan to go up there in about three weeks. And I want to have everything narrowed down before I go up there. So I don't have to do as much footwork. But this is just a, my first episode of the mini series. I want to do Chronicling My Move. So as things um, come along, I'll be letting you guys know. As I get closer to that move happening, I'll be letting you guys know. And when I actually get there, I'll be chronicling that experience. Coming from a small Midwest girl to the whole big world of New York City. I'm so freaking excited. And... Um, I'm so excited to be done with my master's. Like, that has been a long time coming. I've been doing it part-time for, like, the past three years because I work full-time. And for me, full-time is, like, 50 hours a week. So, it took me a longer time to finish that than I expected it to, but I am done. I got three more letters behind my name, and I'm so excited about that. And I'm just excited to start this new chapter of my life, and I need your guys' help. So, all feedback all good, positive, and helpful feedback is welcomed. And as always, 
Have a good night and thanks for watching.